Elephants, like humans, have various greeting cues that they use while meeting friends and loved ones. A new research suggests that elephants use ear flaps, rumbles, trunk reaches, and other forms of communication to greet peers. When elephants reunite with friends, they greet each other with ear flaps, rumbles, and other deliberate sounds and gestures. The study, which was published in the journal Communications Biology, suggests that elephants are communicating intentionally and that they tailor their greeting depending on what other elephants are doing. For example, when another elephant was already paying attention, elephants were more likely to use visual gestures. Otherwise, they were more likely to use touch. It was really exciting to finally understand how they use their bodies to communicate. It's just mind-blowing that they do rely on it so much, but it's so overlooked. Scientists already knew that elephants communicate from up to miles away using deep rumbles that are too low for humans to hear, but that their species' massive ears pick up with ease, and their long trunks come with an excellent sense of smell. Elephants can sniff out age, kinship, and even social groups among both elephants and people. Compared with humans though, elephants' eyesight is relatively poor. Previous elephant communication research has tended to focus on sound and smell separately, rather than on how those and other senses might work together. Scientists took a different approach, counting visual gestures such as ear flapping and trunk reaching, along with vocalizations, touches and scent-related behaviors. They tracked which gestures and sounds occurred together, noting that low rumble noises often accompanied ear flapping. This combination was the most common greeting they documented. The recurring combination suggested the elephants wanted to communicate. The elephants also usually looked at each other before gesturing, further reinforcing that idea. This study is unique in how seriously it tackles the concept of multimodal communication, meaning communication that involves multiple senses at once. Just like I might wave my hand and yell hey, at my friend across the street, elephants appear to also combine appropriate communication signals for when they are greeting their friends. For years, researchers had documented a cacophony of greeting behaviors when groups of elephants came together. It just wasn't clear which behaviors, if any, were intended as communication and which were unthinking. To answer that question, the researchers in the new study worked with a group of nine semi-wild elephants in Zimbabwe, separating them for 10 minutes at a time and then bringing them back together in order to observe their greetings. Elephants only tend to greet other elephants that they know and like, so an important first step was to figure out which elephants in the group were already close. Elephant caretakers already had some sense of the elephant's social dynamics. To quantify them, they use a proxy for elephant friendship, the nearest neighbor index. Twice a month, elephant carers check to see which elephants were standing closest to each other. They eventually chose to study six elephants that were closely bonded. The study emphasizes that elephants live in complex social worlds, with family groups separating, coming together, and keeping track of complex relationships over time. They have long lives like humans. They can live up to 70 years and they have a similar trajectory. Researchers having many social partners could push animals to develop complex communication. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed our videos, subscribe to our channel for there's more to come.